61A lecture number 18. Announcements. Homework 7 is due next Tuesday, and we'll have a homework party on Monday to make sure that you get the support you need. I would strongly recommend trying to finish by Monday so that you can focus on your project. Hog composition revisions are also due next Tuesday. Hopefully you've had a chance to read your composition suggestions. All you need to do is make a few changes, addressing the concerns raised by the tutors who gave you those suggestions, and then type Python 3 OK revise to get any points back that you lost for composition. If you got full credit for composition, two points out of two points, you can skip this entirely. The main thing you should be worrying about is the ANTS project, which is a large project and it's due a week from today. You'll get a bonus point for completing it by next Thursday. And we'll have project parties on Tuesday and Wednesday to make sure that you get the support that you need. You can also expect extra staff in office hours next week uh, for all of the regularly scheduled office hours. Today in lecture, I'll announce the results of the hog strategy contest. If you participated, why not show up? This Saturday, we'll have a gorilla section that will cover orders of growth, objects, and inheritance. If you're feeling shaky on those topics, come on in and master them. Finally, all of this work is to prepare you for midterm two, which is coming up soon, on Thursday the 20th of October, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening. If you have a conflict with that time because you have another course, please fill out the conflict form by the Sunday before. So what is the ANTS project anyway? Well, you're building a game. A game based on one of the most successful um, desktop and iOS games ever made called Plants vs. Zombies. I love that game, and so I thought, why not have us build something very similar? But instead of plants versus zombies, you're building ants versus some bees. In this game, you control the ants, and you're protecting your ant colony from invading bees. Everybody hates bees, and so do I. As you go through the game, you'll implement more and more ants which give you special abilities that help you defend your colony. So you start out by implementing the harvester ant and the thrower ant. The thrower ant throws leaves at the bees, and the harvester ant increases your food. Here, let me stick up some walls so that we can talk for a moment. So the wall ant is something you'll build later on, and that stops the bees' progress for a little while. The hungry ant is something that can eat a bee, but as it's digesting, it's vulnerable to attack. If you want to take out multiple bees at a time, a good suggestion is the fire ant. The fire ant will take out all of the bees that are in its area. So you can see this fire ant taking out a bunch of bees at a time. Now, if ever a bee reaches past the end of one of your tunnels, that's when you lose the game. So you have to deploy your ants optimally and quickly in order to defend your ant colony. And that is ants versus some bees.